Good evening. So many people here. Fantastic. Sorry if I throw up. <laughs> a little nervous. Does anybody else feel like they're in the 80s Star Wars video game? <laughs> Luke Skywalker, the Death Star. <laughs> so the other day I was in the mirror and I found the hair where it's not supposed to be. You might find the hair that's not supposed to be there. Found a hair on the on the end of my nose. Right you want to see it? It's really small right now. But I'm hoping I don't cut it and have a lot of patience. It'll be long enough eventually to be able to put a light bulb on the end of it and live at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, I surprised the hell out of those fish. Um, but what are you doing here? I have a light bulb on my nose. Just like you guys. Uh, so, uh, I kill bugs during the day, but, uh, Technically, I'm a pest control technician, that's the term. <laughs> I kill bugs. And, uh, funny thing is, I have ants in my apartment. <laughs> so that's the funny thing, but wait, wait for it, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> and my girlfriend says to me, that's poetic justice. I didn't really get it. I said, well, maybe if they were in my pants. <laughs> that would be justice. Smart crowd. <laughs> so was, uh, I had to get uh, cable with my roommates. I get cable, internet, and TV. And, uh, and uh, I, I were shopping around for the right cable company to go with. And I saw the billboards for Time Warner. You want to see the billboards for Time Warner on top? And they had that, that woman, a really attractive woman. She could be any race. She could be <laughs> Asian, she could be Latin, she could be anything. I'm kind of white, so I was like, maybe I should get cable from Time Warner. <laughs> she speaks to my people. <laughs> and uh, you know, so uh, so we get we're thinking about getting the cable, and, uh, and I, I was reading the billboard, and it says it says what will you do with all of the money you'll save? Are they trying to sell me the cable, or are they trying to buy the cable from me? I don't I don't get this <laughs> transaction. <laughs> It's not clear what's going on here. Come up with this. It's and I thought that uh, maybe with all the money that I'm making as a comic, <laughs> that I can buy my own billboard space, and it'll be a be a picture of a ladder. And we'll say. Why don't we dig some holes for you? <laughs> you gotta try that. You guys are smart. So. <laughs> so I wrote. I wrote all my set list. I thought I wrote my set list on my hand, but it turns out it's all these equations from my senior of calculus. <laughs> A squared, B squared something. So punches here. So is anybody else uh, when you hear? Are there any? What, before I say this, I don't want to say anybody. Are there, are there any Muslims in the house? 
Yeah. You know, there's a couple Muslims. I don't want to offend you. I have all kinds of respect for religion and stuff. But uh, does anybody else, when you hear a Muslim say praise to Allah in your head, put the word mode? <laughs> I wonder if it's such a popular religion to get ice cream with everything. <laughs> so before I start this next joke, are there any racists in the room? I don't offend anybody. I dated a racist once. Have I dated a racist before? And uh, this is how I knew she was racist. I, you know, I saw her across the room. I figured, yeah, I can introduce myself. I said, I'm Derek Phelps. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? She said, I hate black people. <laughs> so I knew she was racist. <laughs> but. Don't hold it against me, she was really cute. Was super cute. She had uh, the body of Natalie Portman. And the voice is Kate Beckinsale. And the ashes of Hitler. She used to carry him around in her fanny pack. It's an attractive look for a racist. Fanny pack. A squared. B plus. What's the F equals M A? That that's physics. Why is that on here? So the other day I went over to my friend's house and she has two dogs. And uh, one of the dogs is really nice. It's like a cocker spaniel. It's really nice, small. Doesn't say much. And the other dog barking its head off at me, and it's like going crazy. And I'm not really a dog person. I consider myself more like a lizard man. <laughs> and the the dog, it's so big, it's like it's like a it's like a combination between a mastiff and a Rottweiler, it's got some German Shepherd in there, some Pitbull, it's scary, it's barking its head off at me. I said to my friend, is there if you put it in the back? She's like, yes, it's probably a good idea. Um, you know, it's, uh, this is the alpha dog. So yes, alpha dog. What do they call the other dog? Do they know what they call the other dog? Beta. <laughs> Nobody knows. Really, because nobody cares. It's all about the alpha dog all the time. I want to meet the lambda, lambda, lambda dog. Because you know, it gives sweet parties. Thank you very much. That's my time. Okay.